Hey everybody, Johan Magnusson here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're going with some sweet and some heat. We're doing Kansas City style ribs with a creamy coleslaw on the Memphis wood fire grill. So we are gonna use St. Louis cut ribs for this cook. Uh, the only thing that I did to them was that I peeled off the membrane on the back of the ribs. I also trimmed some of the fat and just squared up the ribs so they look a little bit nicer. And next, we're gonna put on seasoning. The most important thing when you make Kansas City style ribs is that you pick a rub that has a lot of sweetness to it, a little bit of heat, but also quite a lot of paprika that will give it that beautiful red mahogany color. The first rub that we're gonna use is Malcolm Reed's hot barbecue rub. So what you wanna do here is just sprinkle heavily on both sides of the rim. The second layer, we're using our own badass pork boost. Same thing here, put on a pretty heavy coating and that's perfectly fine when you make ribs. So it's been about 30 minutes and as you can see, the ribs are really sweating and taking on a beautiful red mahogany color. So it's time to put them in the Memphis wood fire grill we're gonna smoke them uncovered for about two hours. Uh, we're gonna spritz them occasionally with a little bit of apple juice and uh, cook them basically until they have a good bark. The ribs have been in the Memphis wood fire grill now for about two and a half hours. They're taking on a beautiful red mahogany color and the bark, as you can see, is setting. So it's time to take them off and wrap them. We're gonna wrap these ribs in double aluminum foil together with a little bit of agave nectar, brown sugar. We're gonna add parquet butter, and then also a little bit of apple juice. You wanna wrap the aluminum foil pretty tightly around the ribs. And when you've done that, it's time to place them back into the Memphis wood fire grill and cook them for another two hours or so. So while we're waiting for the ribs to be done, it's time to make the coleslaw. We need a barbecue rub. We're using our veggie boost. We need Dijon mustard, celery seeds, some white wine, vinegar. We need mayo, we need sugar, and we need coleslaw. And basically what we do is we just toss all of this together in a bowl, set it aside, and let it cool in the fridge. So the ribs have been in the Memphis Wood Fire Grills wrapped now for about two hours. So it's time to take them out and see if they are ready. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna unwrap it, and then we're just gonna probe it with a little probe here. Oh yeah, and, and if it goes in like it's going into butter, then they're about ready. So what we wanna do now is we wanna open up the foil and let the steam out. And we're gonna let them sit in the foil like this for a couple of minutes. The sauce that we're gonna use on these ribs is two parts of a commercial sauce and one part of governor. And what you wanna do is just give them a nice coating all across. And we're gonna finish it with a light dusting of barbecue rub. And then we're gonna put them back in the grill and let the sauce set. So that is how I make my Kansas City style ribs with a creamy coleslaw. If you wanna know the details about this recipe, check out the description below or go to Memphis Wood Fire Grills website, www.memphisgrills.com. And also make sure that you subscribe to their YouTube channel. So the only thing left for me is try the creamy coleslaw, rich, full, packed with flavor, just the way a coleslaw should be. And now for the, the ribs, good color, beautiful glaze. And now for the test to see if it's really cooked right. Oh, it's dripping with juices. The bite comes clean off, but the rest of the meat stays on the rib. This is perfect. Packed with flavor, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat, just like I like it. So, happy grilling and uh, enjoy this recipe.